guys in this video i just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about myself and about my property um i am 24 years old i moved up here last august the beginning of last august um we had been living in massachusetts for about a year and grew tired of paying rent utilities bills dealing with our landlord all of that stuff that basically everybody deals with but it just sucks um so we found a piece of property for pretty cheap in upstate New York. We purchased the property and then moved out here in August. Started construction on the cabin after clearing everything, probably the end of August. And then uh, we um, we basically built through winter, which, which is sucked. Um, but now the cabin's basically at the point where it's livable. The outside looks a lot more rough than the inside is. But today I just kind of wanted to show you the, the surrounding property and, you know, kind of the cool things here and a lot of the weird stuff and messed up stuff. So we'll just dive right in. As you can see here, we have our just destruction zone of trees and an old camper. Actually, this camper was from the 50s and that's the fridge out of it. And I, I just had the guy drop a tree on it because I wanted it gone anyways. And... uh so basically obliterated that. He actually monster trucked his big machine over. It was pretty cool to watch. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get a dumpster up here and clear all that out and probably in the spring. But it is cool. You know, there's this old fridge. I wish it was in a lot better condition. Otherwise, I'd actually, I'd actually probably use it. But it's, it's, uh, it's a little too far gone, wouldn't you say? Let's see if the handle works. Huh? Not really. There's nothing there to it. Oh yeah, it's actually a, a fridge from the 50s that runs on propane, believe it or not. There's one hell of a little machine here. Been sitting out in the middle of the woods forever though. But yeah, this is our destruction zone. Our property ends kind of around that bend down there. And I'll show you the rest of the property over here now. There's my good, good old diesel right there. I need to do some work to it. It needs a couple rear axle seals and some universals on the drive shaft and then it'll be good as new we do have a mice infestation that i have to deal with in there it's pretty it's pretty nasty but yeah this uh this little area right here is where the logger pulled most of the trees through didn't even you know level it off after he was done so i almost flipped my tractor right here trying to get up here but as we come up here this is our ridge the highest point on our property I'm probably gonna put some solar up here somewhere once I uh, figure out where's the best spot. And then as you can see, as soon as you scrape off that thin little layer of topsoil, it is just all sand, sandy sand. Over there in that wooded area, the sand kind of turns to gravel, which which I'm happy about because I can use that gravel. I can, I can maintain roads. See, it's kind of changing right here but as we make our way over here it becomes a lot more gravel and obviously you see the uh the nightmare that i was left by the logger but yeah like right here it just becomes like all gravel which is really useful so because i'll i'll use that for the road and everything for maintenance and whatnot and even making new roads you go down through there that's behind the cabin is kind of the view from up on top of the hill of the cabin i still have a lot of work to clean up and make it look pretty down there but if we go down this way it leads to another trail that uh just goes down further in my property we probably have a few hundred more yards that way as well as that way it's pretty big property uh i i just recently ex finished exploring it i was actually following the stream up on uh I was following the stream not too far from where my property uh, meets up with the road down here. And I was following it up and I come across a turned over tree. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. You know, I want to go inspect it and take a look at it. And I noticed there's a couple weird signs around. I didn't think much of it. And I, I turn around and look into the, uh, the, the hole there that's on the other side of the fallen tree. There was a black bear sitting in there, and I scared the crap out of me, needless to say. And I realized as I was 
looking around i saw bear crap everywhere i'm like wow i uh, i almost got myself into some trouble <laughs> but yeah that is the uh extent of my property you know the the layout of it at least i will be up uploading a video soon of the interior of the cabin so you guys can see that as well as a lot more you know instructionals and maybe blowing some watermelons up and stuff with shotguns you know all sorts of fun stuff so stay tuned if you like what i'm making please like comment and subscribe and have a good one guys